Hi guys, welcome to this premium tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create a custom theme admin panel today. We will be creating a theme settings panel to use with your WordPress themes. You will learn a lot, so hold on to your hats guys. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up your main settings page. Uh, this will be the first lesson and then uh, after that I'll, I'll be showing you how to create a logo upload section to set your theme's logo, a favicon icon and set your analytics tracking code. Uh, after that we're going over to working with fonts and uh, setting the font sizes for all your headers. Then we're moving along on, uh, to uh, building a color picker to set your theme's uh, color elements and so on. So uh, that's it for now, let's just go move over to this first lesson. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to create our PHP open tags. So let's do this quickly. Um, PHP, closing tag. And then we need to create a function. Uh, this function will basically set up your your main page uh, menu. Um, the menu will be called settings or theme settings. Uh, so, so let's start creating it. So we go functions, uh, zkr underscore uh, my theme menu first. Okay. Um, You basically you can call this anything you want to so let's just uh there's there's five pieces uh, we need to add to this uh, and this will be the page title the menu title the capability which will be administrator uh, the menu slug and the function uh, that we're going to use to set up our html so let's just go create variables oh, sorry i'm writing variable there <laughs> let's do page title underscore title equals theme settings and then we create another one uh, menu title equals the same as the one above then we create a capability um, this will be administrator Then we create a menu slug. Now, of course, you can uh, create or call the slug anything, um, but just let's just keep it going with the with the theme um, settings. Next, we just give a, give a function name, which will be holding the HTML. And this will be zkr underscore main underscore theme and then menu. Okay, next we'll be adding the. Oh, yeah, before I forget, there's actually another one. This icon URL. Um, I just need to show the path, so let's just do this quickly. Um, let's uh, get template directory URI and then set the path. The path is. Uh, the, the folder I've created was zkr framework forward slash um, images forward slash settings icon dot dot gif um, okay yeah so this is a path under your themes f folder um, I'm actually using the 2012 for theme for this and uh, yeah this will basically give the, the menu uh, an icon uh, a nice little spanner you'll see it later and then uh, sorry it's not a spanner it's a sprocket anyways um, let's go add menu page uh, this is a function for the menu um, okay sublime is quite nice it actually adds most of it already so so make sure everything is there. It's page title, menu title, capability, menu slug, function. Okay, we just take this out because we already have declared it. Um, we've got icon URL, uh, and we don't need the position. It's going to auto set the position, and we just do a closing 
thingamabob there, and then that's this, this part's done. So let's just go over this. You've got your page title, your menu title, both the same. Your capability as administrator. Um, this is just to make sure that only the admins got permission to use that page. We've got the menu slug. This will be your URL for your menu. Excuse me. And then um, you've got your function, uh, which we're gonna do. Uh, oh, which we're gonna create now. And then we've got our icon URL. So this will basically this basically gets the path to your theme. And then we just set the path to the to the icon. Okay. So the next thing is to create the other function. So you got a function, ZKR menu, oh sorry, main theme menu. Okay. And now what we need to do is I need to check that the current user's got permission to view this page. So let's just go current user equals tlp get current user yeah, that's the function and then I'll create a user id equals uh, current user and then point it to the id okay now we've got our user and the user ID, this will be the current user of course, and then um, we create a little if statement. So if uh, if the user can not, uh, if the user doesn't have rights, then basically return false, so nothing happens, or they just get a, a message, or they won't even see the page. So let's just do this quickly, so it's underscore, uh, exclamation mark, user can and then user ID and then you say the user capability will probably be like it must be able to create create a user which usually is an admin <coughs> and then we just return false false like this and that's done Okay, now, if you want, you can close this off and just do another open tag here. So this is the part where we can set some HTML. So we do, uh, let's just do a div for class of wrap. So, and then just close it off. Okay. And now, let's add a header tag. Let's call it H2 header tag and let's say hello menu. Now this is done, and basically, all we need to do now is just go and test it. So, we've got a main function that sets up the page, and then our function that, keep, that creates the page. Okay, so now let's just go view and see if it works. So, Okay, I've already created a, a previous one, uh, so let's just gonna refresh this one. Ooh, it's okay. Seems like I've got an error. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, I need to include uh, this page uh, as you see as admin2 uh, into the functions um, I've already done it with the, my first one I've tested uh, I'm just going to add it to so at the bottom of your function file um, include and then so it's include Zuka framework forward slash admin2 and I save it and then let's go, go refresh again oh insufficient permissions to access this page so what went wrong here? Okay, let's go have a look. Okay, so I've realized I forgot something very important. Um, I actually forgot to 
create an add action for this. So we need to add an action and then say admin menu and then let's target our function. So basically just copy and paste. And just close it off. And this should make it work now. So, so I just want to refresh, go, go to theme settings. And there we go. Hello menu. Um, I think uh, uh, this is a great start. Um, our next lesson, um, I'm going to go use a little bit of jQuery magic. And then uh, I'm going to create a jQuery tab menu create an upload section for your logo, your favicon icon, and then create a section for your Google Analytics. And uh, that's going to be the fun part. So keep staying tuned. And I'll see you on the flip side, guys. Thanks for listening.